Daily Devotionals for Christmas Day, December 25th. Today's scripture reading will be uh, John chapter 1, verses 1 and 14. And today I'm going to read out of the Amplified. In the beginning, before all time, was the Word, Christ. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God himself. And the Word, Christ, became flesh, human, incarnate, and tabernacled, fixed his tent of flesh, among us, and we actually saw his glory, his honor, his majesty, such glory as an only begotten son receives from his father, full of grace, favor, loving kindness, and truth. I think it's important to share that out of the Amplified. God became flesh and dwelt among us. He sent his son. Now, let me explain something. You know, I was brought up to believe that, um, of course, I believe that Santa Claus was coming to bring you gifts, right? But I was brought up to believe that the Lord Jesus was born on Christmas Day, December 25th. And I wondered for a long time, like, how did they know that? Well, in reality, you know, we are right now still in the season of lights in the time of Hanukkah. Tomorrow, the 26th, will end that season. But Jesus was conceived in that season of light. He is the light of the world, and he became flesh and dwelled among us because life begins at conception. He dwelled among us in that season of Hanukkah. And then, of course, nine months later, which would make sense at the time of harvest, which would be like September, that is when he was born. And when you think about it, it makes sense because they would not be traveling in the wintertime to pay their taxes. You know, I always pictured that as a kid and they would always do, you know, little Christmas uh, celebrations at the church and, you know, they always had, uh, Mary and Joseph looked like they were blowing away in the a winter storm. But in reality, you know, and it, it took a process of growing up and maturing in the things of the Spirit and learning from the Word and understanding. Jesus is the light of the world, and God sent his only begotten Son to become that light of the world in the season of light. And think about it. I mean, right now it seems so significant because we are ending up that season of Hanukkah right now, I, I just feel that there's a, a greater significance this year than any other time. It's, it's overlapping, and I feel there's a real significance. So from Bob and Bonnie Jones Ministries, my son, Lynn Coast, and his family, we just want to wish everyone a blessed holiday season, a time in the Lord, set time aside to really celebrate Jesus, the real meaning of Christmas. It's a Christ mass, okay? It's his life. And you know, he gave us eternal life. Think about that. At any time in his life, he could have turned away, but he loved us. He, as the scripture said in the beginning, he was with God and he is God that triune figure, and he came in the flesh to dwell among us and give us eternal life. Bless your family. Bless the Lord this day. Okay? Until tomorrow, be blessed.